All right, so Pisces, let's see what's going to come up for you. Now keep in mind, this will not resonate for all of you. If you like personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we also have tarot classes, money spells, love spells, protection spells, and so on, which will also be in the description down below. And if you'd like to become a member, feel free to do so. Alright, so Pisces, you have your cards trying to fly out already. Queen of Cups, that is your energy. Alright, so let's see what's going on currently with you, and then some messages and advice for you. So what is Pisces' current situation as of right now? It looks like you had to detach from something here, from someone, alright? Maybe that kind of hurt a bit at first. It's like you had to cut someone off. You just had to, like, get the sword and then just choom, you know? <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation, I'm laughing at my explaining skills. Splitting the deck, we have the Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords being air. Either way, Pisces. Goodness. It's good reading, Pisces. So we have the High Priestess, and this is your own energy, Pisces. You have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles, that is Earth energy, so I don't know if you have Earth placements or if you're going to have an Earth sign around you, either way, Pisces. We have the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two Tens, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces, what I, honestly, what I feel for you, you got so much, wow, 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 wow. You got money, you got love, you got all this abundance coming your way, Pisces, Honestly, see you collaborating with someone in, in this like business ways or for a project, and that leads to a lot of success. That leads to your tens, okay? Is you collaborating with someone, and it may start off as something small at first or something kind of slow, but then it just really takes off. All right, I think you're gonna have a big opportunity come your way. Pisces, some of you could even be owning a home in your future. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You also got this big love option coming up for you. Could be another Pisces like yourself, or an Earth sign if you're already with someone. I see you sticking with that person. Massive upgrade in your life, Pisces. Okay, you go from these pages and these knights to your own card. That is an upgrade. Maybe before you didn't see a lot of things, but now you're getting clarity. Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. Wow. Let's see some messages and advice for you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Oh, your cards being all weird. Your cards were kind of weird when I was shuffling them. They weren't like normal, you know? You have number 17, Many Hands of the Goddess. The goddess Kuan Yin brings blessings to multiple projects and many different parts of your life and consciousness, beloved. 
She is not limited to one task at a time. Do not be afraid to surrender into her guiding wisdom and creative genius now. For there is much that you can accomplish together, and she wants to assist you. Look at this. You have the divine here helping you, Pisces. So if you, and it does feel like that. Like you are going to have multiple projects going on. Divine is helping you. And it's going to be successful because you are collaborating with, you know, spirits. Right? We have number 34, the Amorless Loops. Isn't that a really good reading? Like, you have won a victory, beloved, a victory over the past, and the Amorless Loop is sounding through every cell of your being, heralding your rising vibration as you leave fear behind you once again. In fact, the loop says you are growing fast and spiritually. You are outgrowing your old life even more so. When your vibration changes, so too does your life, beloved. This is natural. It is safe and loving for you to release that no one, no, that which no longer feels right for you. No matter how much it was important in your old life, it may not have the same place in your new life. Look at this, Pisces. We're releasing the old. What was we talking about in the beginning? You cut something off here, and now, like, that thing did not serve you. Okay? Whatever this was person or place, something that you, you, you just detach from, all right? Now you're moving on into new, a higher vibration. You are upgrading here, Pisces. You're going to be working on multiple different things, collaborating here, success, business, wealth, love, creation, okay? And this is a massive upgrade for you, all right? So, Pisces, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.